Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. This episode we visit the Sega Dreamcast once again with part 2 of our look into my favorite fighting games. In part 1 we took a look at the 3D fighters on the Dreamcast with Soul Calibur and Project Justice being some of my favorite fighters of all time. Now we take a look at 2D fighters that truly push the genre before the fusion of 3D graphics and 2D gameplay. Street Fighter Alpha 3 was released in 1999 on the Dreamcast. This version is pretty much as close to an arcade port as the Sega Saturn was without the great fighting pad. One of the first fighting games to incorporate online versus fighting brought in the opportunity to play the best wherever in the world. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike was released by Capcom in 2000. This port of the arcade is my favorite version of the game and the preferred version that I play today. This game forced my hand to purchase a Sega Saturn pad converter for the Dreamcast to play in my fighting games. The Dreamcast pad was good, but nothing beat the Sega Saturn pad for pure fighting games. <laughs> Garu, Mark of the Wolves, was released in the Dreamcast in 2001 through SNK. To many, this was the response to Street Fighter 3 with its own fluid animation and faster gameplay. I will admit, besides Capcom vs. SNK series, this game is my favorite SNK game to play. The gameplay feels new when compared to other Fatal Fury games, and the combo system is fluid as Capcom's best. <laughs> Guilty Gear X was released by Sammy Studios and developed by now famed fighting company Arc System Works. Guilty Gear X is the second installment in the series and uses the Naomi Sega board for an easy port to the Dreamcast. The animation of the characters are probably the smoothest I've ever seen on the Dreamcast for that era. The gameplay is also great and fast, which was becoming a norm ever since X-Men Children of the Atom. One of the better underrated 2D games on the Dreamcast. <laughs> Capcom vs. SNK 2 was released in 2001 for Japan only on the Dreamcast, but it demolishes the first installment. Still using 3 on 3 elements of both Capcom and SNK games, the game uses a 6 button layout instead of 4, and the game uses a more based on Street Fighter Alpha series with its groove selection. With more characters, faster chainable combos, this game was the game to beat for 2D supremacy during this era. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 The New Age of Heroes remains the best in the series and one of the best 2D fighting experiences anyone can have. The Dreamcast port was released in 2000 and was deemed perfect ever since. No other version has come close to the Dreamcast due to the arcade being on Sega's own Naomi arcade board. 
The game itself is still alive today with gaming gurus swearing by the Dreamcast code as that is the version to play in all of the competitions. That's it for me on this episode of Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Uh-huh.